Alright, here we go. My unicorn dinosaur narwhal thing is done. So I thought I'd just show how I get this off the build plate, which is like a, a challenge. To, uh, So for me this is the hardest thing about 3D printing, so actually, alright, that was easy. Alright, so the... Um, The little setting I changed was really helpful. What I've been changing is the start layer height. And here it's called the start C. And that means that my first layer is not so messed down as it was uh, with the default setting. So, um, yeah, that really helped. So my print was a lot easier to get off. So it's not that it's been easy with this printer. It actually went all the way back to the US to be fixed. But since it came back, it's actually been performing quite well. I've made a number of, of nice prints. And they actually shipped it back with a spare, or like I had a spare extruder. And um, yesterday when I ran out of uh, the, uh, the filament started running thin on my print, I actually changed the extruder in the middle of the print and it worked. So that's amazing. All right, let's get this completely clear. down into the the fail pile and yeah it's not going to yeah, so this, it's So for my next print, I don't have anything on the plate for this uh, area with the holes. I'm not going to care. So let's just see if I start the print process here. It says ready to print. And I'm going to start taking the supports of this. So I'm using mesh mixer to do the supports and they just break off nice and easy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna work with that a little bit with my pliers. These are really good for getting the supports off. Oh! Ready it said. So let's go, begin printing. So this is actually even more, uh, less tight first layer than the, the print I did yesterday, but this came out really nicely. This is done on the low setting. And um, yeah, this is by far the easiest uh, build plate removal I've had so far uh, so yeah I think it's doing pretty well 
and uh, thanks for watching.